Hi Dragons, Miss Dempsey here. Today we're going to be talking about the properties of 3D shapes. Before we start talking about the properties, let's talk about the shapes that you'll be seeing. Cone, cylinder, cube, rectangular prism, triangular prism, pyramid, and sphere. So now we're going to talk about what makes a 3D shape a 3D shape. Those are the properties. So 3D shapes will have edges. That's where flat surfaces meet. It'll also have faces, another word for those flat surfaces. So for example, if you were looking at this 3D shape, this would be considered a flat surface or face, as, long, as well as this one. Where those two flat surfaces meet, right here would be considered the edge of that 3D shape. 3D shapes will also have vertices. Now, not all uh, 3D shapes have vertices, and I want you to figure out which one doesn't. Okay, we'll do that in a second. So what are vertices? Vertices are where three or more edges meet. So for instance, going back to that 3D shape, have you guessed what it is? If you haven't, it's a rectangular prism. Okay, so if we're looking at those three edges, here's one, here's another, and here's that third one. Where those three edges meet would be considered the vertices. Okay, so remember how I told you that you're going to figure out what shape um, doesn't have a vertices? Well, this is how you're going to do it. Attached to this um, opportunity is a chart that looks like this that you can print out or you can do take a picture and work on in Seesaw. But what you're going to do is you're going to use everyday objects around your house. So for instance, I have my first shape would be a cube. A great um, example of a cube would be our Kleenex box that I use often. Um, also, a pyramid. You saw earlier, I had Mr. Dempsey's uh, painting pyramid. This is where he puts the wood or anything he wants to paint so that he doesn't get it on the floor. We have a sphere. Weezy's uh, tennis ball is a great example of a sphere. And then on the bottom, we have our rectangular prism. We've already looked at that 3D shape. So what you're going to do is you're gonna grab any of those objects and you're going to count how many faces, flat surfaces, edges, and vertices they have. Then you want to try and draw a picture. On your chart at home, um, you only have faces, edges, and vertices, but you can always draw your shape on the side as well. So if you're looking at the cube, I see there is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to use my marker, and I'm going to write a cube has six faces. Now I want to look at the edges. So remember, the edges are where the flat surface both meet. So here would be one edge. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. My 3D shape of a cube has twelve edges. Now I want to look at the vertices. Remember, a vertices is where the three edges meet at that point. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight vertices, so I'm going to write that in. And then I want to try and draw my shape. Now I have a shape right here, but I'm going to show you the easiest way I know how to draw a cube. So you want to start off with the square. Then you're going to draw two points towards diagonally, towards the side, and then you're going to connect them. You're going to do the same thing with that uh, vertices on the bottom or that corner on the bottom, and then you're going to attach. That's the best way I know how to make a cube. Maybe you know how to make one better. If you have any questions, please let me know. Other than that, watch this video again. Maybe it'll help you. Thanks.